Chapter 5 Arranging the Clouds and the Man in the Moon Now we've got the man in the moon and the new moon. The man in the moon, it's said, anything that's lost on earth is up on the moon. And Mary Poppins told the children that one day Mr Banks's old nanny, who was a grumpy, grouchy, really horrible nanny, came to live next door. And she brought with her a little native child, but she treated him dreadfully. Children became really friendly with him and they said, how long are you staying? And he said, when I'm needed. And they said, how will you know? And he said, because I'll feel it in my heart. So one morning he came to the children and he said, I have to go home. My grandmother needs me. So they got with Mary Poppins and Mary Poppins arranged that night. She arranged the clouds so that the children and Mary Poppins could step up to the moon on these clouds. And when they got to the moon, they found that the man in the moon was just going to have cocoa. And they said, no, you can't have any cocoa. You know the man in the moon never sleeps. Then they watched how she arranged the clouds for this young lad to go home on the other side. They came back down to earth and went to sleep. So that's a lovely story. She always believed that everyone must have a home. Now we have got Mrs. Corey. I only wish we could get two really, really tall ladies to go with Mrs. Corey because Mrs. Corey had two gigantic daughters called Annie and Fanny. And they helped Mary Poppins put the stars back in the sky. But Mrs. Corey has wonderful fingers. They can sometimes grow into barley sugar, chocolate sticks, nut sticks, and she would just break them off and give them to the children. Mm-hmm.